while we are months away from the summer season, the city is already thinking ahead. Yeah, the Parks Department today kicked off a lifeguard recruitment blitz. The department says with a lifeguard shortage, it is aggressively focusing on rebuilding its lifeguard ranks and wants people thinking to start thinking about applying now. Here's Omnibus News reporter Kimberly Richardson. Do not adjust your screen. Yes, those are New York City lifeguards ready for duty, even though the first official day of summer is more than 200 days away. Lifeguards, we idolize you. We really do. But anticipating a shortage yet again here in the five boroughs when the weather does warm up, officials want to get the word out. The effort to recruit more lifeguards is well underway. The challenge at our pools and beaches isn't unique to our area, rather something towns and cities across the country are also facing. In this post-pandemic world, there's been a shift in people's work habits. People want to be able to work from home. People want remote work. This is not a job you can do remotely. You can't have your phone. You are working five to six days a week. It's a tough job. At the peak of last summer, there were 930 lifeguards on duty at pools and beaches here in the five boroughs. But the golden number to be fully staffed is between 12 and 1,400. You have to do a 50-yard swim in 45 seconds. You can do it? I, I, have, I don't know. <laughs> That's step one of the qualifying test, which you can start taking December 8th. The city has done a few things to sweeten the deal. Try and bring in new recruits and keep those already on the job in the chair. The hourly pay is now $22, up from about 20 and there's a $1,000 retention bonus. Rosemary was in her 20s when she took the plunge and became a lifeguard. I was an exercise physiologist. My master's is in that. And then my teacher, my mentor was like, I think you should, why don't you get your, your certification?